Hey guys, how's it going? Jules here and I'm back with another video. Now this time I'm going to be recording a little bit different. I'm going to do some changes here in my videos to I want to make the image look a bit better than some previous videos that I've done before. Now I noticed that YouTube has changed my video quality. It, they reduce it down to 720p and the only way you can watch them on at 1080p will be on on the computer on your pc or a laptop whatever but every time i'm trying to watch a video through my phone uh, even on wi-fi they're all locked to 720p i don't know why even on my old videos that i used to watch on 1080p they're all reduced to 720 um i don't know what the hell's going on but it has something to do with youtube because like i said you'll still be able to watch them videos on on 1080p even some videos that i uploaded at 1440 they all reduced to 720 i don't know what the hell is going on but anyways hopefully this video is uploaded in 1080p and you guys be able to watch it on um on your mobile at this quality but even though if it's reduced to 720p the recording quality is at 1080p so anyways i wanted to show you guys something uh some movie settings that i'm using this is a blu-ray movie and this is from uh from the uh, I purchased the Alien Anthology booklets, which includes four different Alien movies, just in uh, just in time because you know the new Aliens the coming and is coming out pretty soon, and I'm really excited about that movie. So let me show you something real quick that might help you improve your image quality. Now this is running on my PlayStation 4 Pro on the Blu-ray. This is Blu-ray. This is not 4K. This movie came out. 37 years ago 1979 that's the year when i was born so uh yeah it's been enhanced a lot a lot guys so let me show you first real quick running a movie like this you should be using movie picture mode this is the one that is the closest to more a natural uh, looking picture and i will show you the expert settings that i'm using on this movie really quick now my backlight is all the way up to 20. Um, you can, you don't have to use this up to 20. I'm just using it because I really like it bright. So you can reduce this actually if you like. The room that I'm in right now is very dark, so it should be better on a lower backlight. Uh, brightness 45, contrast 100. Now sharpness on movies, sharpness does make a big difference. So I feel like every 15 to 20 uh, value points, it starts to increase this uh you'll start noticing some particles in there so you don't want to go too high either so i feel like 20 is a good spot now color is at 55 all sources no digital clean view i i added this because like it says right there reduce picture noise to avoid distractions such as flickering so yeah this will help you to enhance your movie uh right here on this digital clean view now auto motion plus this this is the one that a lot of people wants to are um, wondering if this will help your movies and actually it does help it does introduce a little bit of soap opera effect but oh my god it makes such a big difference and i will show you guys right now real quick for example in this movie scene now this is an auto right now this movie scene, I'm just gonna reduce the volume. I don't want to get the sound. I don't want to get. So look at how clear this looks. Look how beautiful and clear this looks, right? Perfect. It's very smooth. Very sharp image. Looks very nice. Now let's go back really quick. All right. I'm gonna pause this real quick, and I'm gonna turn this off. Let's turn Auto Motion Plus. Let's turn it off very quick. And I just go into this menu because it's, it's a smaller. And let's play this back again. All right. And you're going to notice a lot of flickering. It's so annoying. Look at this. That is freaking terrible. It makes me dizzy. Look at all the flickering. God damn. You guys notice that? Let's go back real quick, cool, just one more time. Just in case you didn't believe me. So, like I said, it does introduce a little bit of soap opera effect, but oh man, 
Does it enhance the movie? Yes, it does. Now you can use auto. It's totally perfect. Or you can use custom. So what I notice is uh, custom, I just put it all the way up to 10 and 10 on the judder reduction, 10. It's the same thing as if you use auto. That's how I feel. I already tried this. And LED clear motion, I turn it off because this one actually makes the image a little bit darker. Look at this. You see, you probably can't see, but but it does make the image a darker. So I don't know, honestly, I, you don't need that. And also it, it introduces more, even more uh, judder. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not judder. Uh, soap opera effect. So let me just try this with this one. All right, this time. Okay. Let's do this. Actually, you know, it's going to be very smooth as well. It's just, there's a little bit of judder. You guys notice? Like, boom, like stuttering. I notice the image, how it stutters. So, yeah, you don't, you don't want to use that. I don't, I don't think it's a good option though. All right, so let's turn it off. And I also, like I said, it makes the image darker. So in this one, just use auto. Let's do auto. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys, so let's continue with this expert settings. Smart LED, that's local dimming. I have it off. I don't think it made any difference. You see? I have it off. Um, this is mostly useful for HDR movies or HDR games, so that's why I turn it off. Now, let me go to dynamic contrast. I also turn this off. You don't need dynamic contrast. You see, it makes the image... Uh, I feel like this is more natural. This is more how it's supposed to be. This one. This one introduces more light brightness. And this one, I feel like this is how I like to play my games. Wait, uh, dynamic contrast on high. But in movies, turn it off. It looks much nicer with it off. Color tone is on one. And color space. Okay, color space. I already, I already showed you guys this before in my previous videos. But I'm just going to do it really quick again. So these are the values that I have on my color space. So this is the red. Let's go to the green real quick. 24, 45, 40, and 5. Not 45. Oh, shoot. And this is the blue. 0, 4, 42. All right. This is the yellow. 50, 48, 6. Cyan. 24, 46, 51. And the last one, magenta. 33, 10, 46. All right. So with this colors configuration right here, you're gonna get a more natural picture mode right here on your on your TV. And all right, guys, that's it. This is how this looks. And I feel like, especially on movies like this, it's gonna help you a lot with the judder. So if you want to reduce the judder effect, try the settings. Look how smooth and beautiful this looks. nice very nice all right guys so that's it for this video right now i'm going to continue watching this movie which i haven't seen in a long time and i'll see you guys on the next episode joster out